Sorry. You ran into me. <laughs> Spider, he's all yours. Lights! Daryl, Daryl, Daryl! It is Daryl, right? That's right. Don't, Daryl. Don't step in front of our patrons. They will run you down and stampede right over your ass, boy. You don't know pain till you've had 14 bitches and six-inch stilettos screaming like a virgin on prom night. Ah! It's simple, bro. In and out. Duck and jive, you know? Boo, then skidoo. Boo, then skidoo. Boo, then skidoo. Real <laughs> simple ass, man. Go, 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 go. You get it. You better get it. We open Friday. Oh! Hey, now, hold on. I don't want you getting all stiff on me. I want you to dance like those zombies in Michael Jackson video, you know? <laughs> None of that, okay? Come on, come on, come on. All right, you gotta stay loose. Move. Ah, fresh meat. Come on. Hey, Spider. Say hello to Bert, Tracy, Margot. Tyler. Tyler and Jake. Okay, thank you, Miss Summer. And this is... PJ, my fiance. He's gonna help out. Yeah, good helper. Uh, and this is Daryl, who, like you, is new to the ways of fright. Hey, Bart. Hey, Daryl. We know each other from the <laughs> My peeps, welcome to Scare Zone Year 3. Now, the first thing we do to welcome the newest members of our Scream team is sacrifice a virgin. Yeah. Ah, hey! Look. <laughs> you scared, huh? huh. <laughs> you pussy. And now, two of this year's attraction, Scare Zone 3, the Psycho Splatter Raw Topsy Slaughter Dungeon. Yeah, man! All right, follow me, kitties. Ah, no, no, no. That's the gift shop, okay? That's where we end. This is where we start. Yeah, over here, yeah, okay. Why don't you just stick close to me? All right. All right, looking like you rode in on the short bus or something. <laughs> Come on, guys. Excellent. Pablo, donde esta the remote control? Aquí. Fantastic. All right, good, let's see how we're doing. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> but I want me to repeat this. Uh huh. That is fantastic. Nos vamos a quemar en el infierno. I'm sorry, what? Ah, uh, no, it's very good, it's very good, huh? All right, yeah, yeah. So I pulse them through in like six days at a time, no conga line. You want to separate them into little clumps, that way you get them to shit themselves. Yeah, that's right. If they see you coming, there's no surprise. Boys and ghouls, meet the owner and creator, the Duke of Dementia, Scare Zone's own, Sir Oliver Peters. Yeah, just Oliver will be fine. Hey, man, good. I'm glad I ran into you. I got that appointment. Uh -huh. And the newbies need a tour from the man Oliver. All right. So, okay. Okay. Go. All right, cool. Oh. Good. All right, kids, scare you later. Hey, bro. Don't touch! Excuse me, excuse me. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> All right, let's move over to the next scene. There's more room in there. Hey, voila! Welcome, my pretties, on your next stop on the Scare Zone tour, the lair of the slutty cannibal vampirus wench. Nice. Now, this poor fellow here is one of the vampirus's victims. Oh. <laughs> he came directly from the Camden Dungeon of Tortures. First time Prince Harry saw this gangy about shit himself. <laughs> you. M Margot. Perfect. You could work this room. All right? You are a slutty, blood-sucking, vampire-seeking victims. Now, let me hear your hiss. Hiss? Yep. Uh... Hiss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let me hear you, uh, shriek. Um... Ah! Well, she's got the oh. slutty part down. Shut up, Trace. No, 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 it's not a problem. Come forth. Um... Come on, this is what will work for you. This is a shaker can. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you come out of the shadows, all right, and then yeah, it jars them pretty good. Cool. Hey. Mind if I... hey. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Settle down. Whoa, settle down, champ. What's your name? Tyler. Of course it is. I've got a job for you and the skinny fellow in a big scene down the hall. Moving on. Hey, Bart. Tyler's pretty good with that shaker can. Lots of practice. <laughs> and you get to work with them. Oh, great. Thanks, Dickweed. Okay, here we come. Coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. Over there, over there. Very nice. Now, before the big scene, our guests must pass through the lie vat dungeon. What's a lie vat? Yeah, lye was used in powder form for cleaning hides, chemically burning away the hair and the fat, yada, yada, 
yada yada, but it also came in handy if you were a serial killer trying to hide the stench of your victims. Gross. And you are. Uh, Jake Jacobs, spectacular, come over here. Now you will be in this part of the slaughter dungeon wielding your bloody axe. You'll be dressed in a mask and a jumpsuit like your friend there. Okay. <laughs> Heavier than I thought. Yeah, that's because it's real. Okay. Okay, do you know how much a good quality fake plastic axe costs? Damn right it's real. Cheaper and it lasts longer. The blade is not the sharpest thing in the world, all right? But it could hurt like hell if you chop somebody with it. So, you hold it like this and threaten, all right? Now don't let anybody grab it from you. Okay. Good, okay, moving on. Chop, chop! Oh my god, it's really Okay, sexy man is crazy. This is sweet. I don't know, I think this Oliver guy knows a little too much about hacking and killing. Yeah, and he's got plans for all the skinny fellow. Chop chop! <laughs> New for this year, the raw Topsy Zone, where, as you can see, a number of hellish morticians are watching a victim getting sliced up on the autopsy table. Now, sitting among these statues, looking just like the dummies, will be Tyler and... Bart. Bingo! You'll be frozen just like the rest. And then you leap up and booyah! You scream at unsuspecting mazes. Now, you don't want to blow your voice out, all right? So you scream a couple of times, and then other times, you can use this aluminium bat to hit the railing. <laughs> Just don't hit anybody. Remember, you scare fast, then pull back. You don't want some macho creep punching you out. Dangerous. Somebody takes a swing at me, he's going down. No, 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 Tyler. We do not slug the paying guests. Yeah, we're not supposed to touch them at all, right? That's right. No touchy, too much liability. However, we, the actors, can interact physically with each other. Tyler's all yours. For example, Summer here will play a live victim getting sliced up by some mad doctor. You see, he amputates her leg while she's still squirming. <laughs> it's a good gag. Oh, and I could be your doctor. Oh, check this out. No, PJ. No, Oliver, I told you. I'm helping you open this thing, and then we're going to Vegas to get married like you promised. Right, honey? Uh-huh. Summer, can I talk to you over here for a moment? Look, I know you want to get the hell out of here and start your new life with Prince Charming. Awesome. <laughs> Excellent choice, by the way. But I really need you here. No, you don't. You've got Claire, OK? I need to get out of my parents' house. So we're getting married this weekend as planned. Look, open for me this Friday. If you can stay for Saturday and Sunday, I will make the honeymoon really special. Come on, you're the only season performer I've got. <laughs> All right, I'll open for you Friday, and I'll talk to PJ about this weekend. Fair enough. Let's uh, show the others where they'll be stationed. We are walking. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. oh, Mark. Oh, my God. I'm going to puke. What makes it smell? My own secret recipe. Hi, oh. oh, that's it. Oh. That is so cool. And we're walking. OK, good. Come on, everyone through the body bag room. I've turned the AC up in here to turn this sucker into a freezer. Now, to the doll hall. This is fantastic. All right, and who's left? Me, Daryl. Bonanza. You will be in this zone, which was last year's big hit. It's entitled Dies and Dolls. You'll be dressed just as you are, freaking people out with your bloodstained machete. You know, this is still my favorite room. Every child's nightmare lives in the eyes of these lifeless beings. <laughs> I've been collecting them for years. Years and years and years. <laughs> you, you are Tracy. Superlative. In this zone, you will be a fresh victim wearing a wedding dress and a veil, working up and down these stairs. Yes, you are a recent victim. Uh, you're turning vampire, holding the bat baby that you just gave bloody birth to via the old monkey wrench cesarean. Oh my God! Can I just get like a? 
Shaky up, Dan? No, no, you show people your mutated newborn. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Aha! Now we are in for a treat. I don't know how Ah! Hello, Jesus. No, no, no. Jesus. Excuse So can te cabrón. I'm sorry, what? It, it's ready! It's ready! Ah, buen provecho! And now, welcome to the insanity of the psycho strobe light room. <laughs> As usual, I will be in the finale area playing the pumpkin carver, scaring people shitless with <gasps> Bloody Molly, my trademark signature patent pending gas powered two cycle 20 inch chainsaw. Now, this is where I break one of my own rules and only I can do it. But come here. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I locked the chain on, so no chain, no pain. Just a hell of a lot of vibration and noise. Grazie, Jaime. Now, I wouldn't normally touch anybody with it, but if there's some complete arse acting too cool in front of his friends, I might feel the need to give him a gut check like old Bart there. Now, add to this, the smoke machines, lots of light and sound effects, the strobe room, the chainsaw finale, yada, yada, yada. We happily freak out the customers who will happily scamp into the gift shop to spend more money. Oh! Jesus! No, 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 Jesus. No, 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 whatever. What the hell was that? Los clavos que estamos usando son una porquería. Tú me estás jodiendo. Pablo me estás jodiendo. Los clavos no cogen. De nada. Okay, um, right, you go into the gift shop and wait for Claire. She'll give you your costumes and talk makeup for anybody who needs help. Say that again, but slower. <laughs> yeah, I've been coming here the past few years. He's only open three nights, but at 10 bucks a head, he makes a killing. Oh, dude, I heard he used to manage a House of Horrors wax museum in London, yeah. but he got busted for using like real blood or a real corpse or something. No, no, I heard he killed a goat live just to watch people react. Bullshit. Yeah, you no, know, he got fired and went to prison for like animal cruelty or something. Oh, no, no, I heard he went to prison because he killed a bony, pasty virgin. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the slut? <clears throat> Perfect. All right, I designed this look for you. With this makeup illustration you can work from. Your costume's over there, go try it on, and I'll help you with your makeup later. The bride. Bat Boy's mother? I didn't design the dress. Thank God. Bought it at a consignment shop. But it works, and your makeup needs to be more defined. Okay, we need to be able to see it behind the veil. Why don't you slip that on? Try it out. Great. Dummies. No. I mean morticians. You guys need to look just like the mortician <laughs> dummies. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. Costumes are over there, and I made boy-friendly makeup directions for you. Yes. Makeup's with your costumes, and we don't have a lot of room in here, so we put on our makeup here in the shop. We rigged up a curtained off changing area. It has one bench and one mirror. Ah! Whoa! It's for the girls. Boys, just use the shop mirror. Masked psychos. So you have your costume already? Fit okay? Yeah, great. Your mask, it's up there. There's uh, lots of welder's gloves and a mechanic jumpsuit. Just pick ones that fit. Summer, I have your hospital gown and doctor scrubs for PJ if Oliver can Claire, talk to you. I don't know. Too. Okay, we're leaving town to get married. <laughs> Need a dress? Oh, 
part do you play? Yeah, because I really like your costume. Yeah? No, I stay here and work the gift shop. Spider gets their money going in, I get them going out. Oh. All right, remember everybody, today Spider rehearses you, but tomorrow night we open, all right? Any questions? Uh, yeah, uh, who breaks us? No breaks. What? Uh, look, we're open from 7 p.m. until the last guest goes through, all right? That's usually till like midnight the first two nights and 2 a.m. on Halloween. What if I have to pee? Then pee. There's a toilet right there, and that's for everybody. Okay, where do I smoke? <sighs> out the back door in the alley. Look, just duck out, do whatever it is you need to do. No one in the maze is gonna say, hey, there's supposed to be a psycho killer here. Well, except maybe some of our regulars. You, you were here last year, right? I only went through seven times. Not like some of those no lies you go through ten times a night if they can. Yeah, because you have a life. Anyway, if you have to take a break, just get back to your post quickly so people get their money's worth. It's only three nights. You'll survive. And if we do good business, Oliver takes care of us with nice bonuses. That's why I'm here. I'm gonna need some help. All right, uh, boys, go see what Oliver needs. And then everybody report back to Spider after lunch for rehearsals. Tyler. Yeah. Every evening, one person has to come in an hour early to help Spider and Oliver prep the house for our guests, and you're up first. So tomorrow at six. We are five. Whatever. Hi, as you can there, Pablo. Didn't this used to be like a dollar store? No, it was a porno shop. No way. Yeah. Whoosh. You know, actually, this entire attraction can fit into two pod containers. Yeah, it takes me, Spider, and half a dozen manpower guys. We could put the whole thing up in a couple of days. Actually, Pablo, can you get your men together? Uh, chudos juntos. Ah, sí, sí. <whistles> Muchacho, ven acá. El loco adorador de diablos este necesita nuestra ayuda. Benissimo. I'll tell you, the biggest pain in the ass is getting this thing up. So, hola, muchachos. Un, dos, trio. <laughs> Prepare to be scared. Scare Zone 3 this weekend. Who comes up with this? Oliver does. Keeps all this stuff in storage, pulls it out once a year, and does his thing. Hey, how do you think he makes that toilet seat smell so bad? Oh, he shits in the pots and waits for the mold to grow. No way! <laughs> Jeez, Bart, I don't know. Maybe he uses old socks or fertilizer or something. What do you think about Claire? Freak? Goth gone wild? I don't know, man. Awful smart to be a freak. Talented, too. Freak? The psychos let a raw topsy slaughter dungeon. <laughs> Shit, mother. Damn it, I should have come so early. Hey, I'm here to... I think they're ready. Can we open early? No, hell no, man. Tyler never showed. Me and Oliver had to open this whole damn place up by ourselves. Shit. Hold on. All right, you can go in now. Go. Go, go, go. Hurry up. <laughs> All right, you pussy words. You ready to get freaked out? Yeah. Are you ready for some blood and guts? Get ready for Scare Zone 3, the Psycho Splatter Wall Tops and Slaughter Dungeon! Yeah! Opening in just 10 minutes. Oh. No. Yeah. Ain't no mask in the maze, you guys know that. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, Spidey. Oh, hey, Freaky Geeky! <laughs> How you been, man? <laughs> wow, you guys starting to multiply now. <laughs> Shit, it was just the two of you coming in the last couple years over and over and over uh, again. I mean, not that I mind. I like you guys having no life. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> As is our tradition, we have the winner of our promotional Scare Zone t-shirt contest officially unlock the doors to the Chamber of Horrors. Amber. All right, boys, you know the score. Move inside to my podium and wait there until I get the signal we're open and I'll snatch your money. Ha! <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Out of the way, please. Hey, man, scares on two thousand dollars. Man, I love loyalty. That's good. That's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, hey. When's Oliver gonna offer an unlimited admissions pass for the regular customers? <laughs> Why would he do that? You guys are stupid enough to pay 10 bucks every time. <laughs> Hi, Claire. We're good to go. All right, guys, now remember, no masks, no smoking, no cameras, no checks, no credit cards. Just cash, baby. All right, my fellow Zonies, Scare Zone 3 is now open for business. <laughs> Clear from door locked. All right, that is it for the night. So we did pretty good for the first night, right, guys? Everybody got the costumes hung up? Claire will pay everybody, let everybody out. Spider and I will close up the attraction. Thank you for a great first night. Claire, give everybody an extra 60 clams. Spider? Oliver? Bullshit. This is why I'm leaving. I hate this town. This job is killing me. I'm in desperate need of a spa treatment. Hey, an extra 60 bucks isn't And bad. before I get home to my goddamn parents' house where I'm living to try to save money, Horndog over here is going to want to hunt me up one side and down the other. Of course, I want him to, so there goes half the money we just made on a cheap hotel. We can do it in the car. We are so out of here tomorrow, Peach. Uh, tomorrow, you're opening. What? Yeah, Spider has his appointment. Oliver's not in till 7. You're the only one that knows how to run the smoke machines. Oh my God! Thanks, Summer. Thanks, Timmy. What happened to Amber the T-shirt pixie? Oh, she's waiting for you in the car. What? <laughs> kid. Amber is only here for the opening, <laughs> and then she goes to her regular night job. Oh. Get it? Well, I guess that just leaves me and Tracy and Margot. Hey, you guys want to hit Denny's? Sure. Uh, Daryl, can you stay a sec and help me count cash? Sure. Have fun with Edwina scissor hands. <laughs> Is this a lot of money for day one? Oh. You're pretty fast with that calculator. Did you learn that at school or? <laughs> Classic. You scared. That was old. That was better than last year. <laughs> I'll never get tired of that one. If I hear one more boner line. <laughs> I don't know if this is worth an extra 40 bucks, man. We can get killed out here. Hey, I like flagging parked cars a lot better. What? I said I had an amazing night counting money with Claire. Yeah, sure you did. Oh, we talked and laughed and she told me about our family. Yeah, who, the Adams family? Yeah! 
Look, man, she's a freak, all right? A freak that can add. Why are you focusing on her when you know we can have Margot's mangoes and Tracy's tangerines? <laughs> oh, man. Fuck! Is that a beer bottle? Shit, mother! Peach, could you hand me another liter of fluid? You know, I'd much rather be giving you my bodily fluids. That's sweet, honey, but haven't you had enough of me by now? I can never get enough of you. You are mine. Don't say it. You are mine. Don't say it. Oh, that's so good. Come on, to the table, to the table, come on. Come on. There, I got him. I have to finish opening. Oh, come on, Summer. Why don't you turn on the lights and the sound? Get your shirt. <laughs> audio. Where's the freaking audio? DJ, stop playing with the chainsaw. PJ, knock it off! PJ! PJ, what the fuck are you... Open for another half an hour. Can't you open a little earlier? Yeah. yeah. I'm a little busy in here. Oh, let me find something to entertain you until we open. Again, it's PJ's turn. PJ's gone, all right? You keep him happy. I gotta finish opening the place up. Wait, 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 wait! What? PJ's gone? And Summer too? Yeah, man, go on a low. Something I don't know. Look, they opened the place and apparently split. Okay, good luck to him. Good riddance. Go out there and keep this crowd from rioting. Go, oh, Peelman! I'm all by myself in here. First no Tyler, now no Summer and PJ. Relax, my little mortician. Oliver Peters has it all sorted. 
At least for tonight. Ta 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 ta! Behold, an international twist to our tortuous tale. Esto no tiene perdón de Dios. Amen. Come in now. Come on, man, go. Go, 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 go. Oh! All right, people, we're ready for you if you're ready for a boot. Yeah! As I was saying, no mask, no smoking, no. Hey, what are you three? What? You three bong turds trying to get us shut down? You got a problem with it, man? <laughs> oh, no, baby, I love the devil's lettuce. I also like my job. So basically what I'm trying to say here is, uh, nobody gets in until these three puff puff motherfuckers out of here. Uh, smoke hey, on that. Hey, hey shut up. Get out of here. Shut up. Oh. Kiss my ass, bitch. You call bitch, bitch. Hey, 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 hey. You look at you Sasquatch. Bye bye, boys. Toodles. And now, my pretties, Scare Zone 3 is open for the second night of flight. <laughs> <laughs> Best day two in the history of Scarzo. Cheers. Cheers. We couldn't do better unless we were actually killing people. <laughs> That'd pack him in. It actually would, you know. Okay, Claire. <laughs> Gonna freak out these kids. Look, you guys did great tonight. The spirits of the dead are with us. <laughs> I would like everybody to take an extra 100 bones out of the till. Okay, Spider, let's go and close up. Oh, I'm gonna need some extra help with a broken window and wall facade. I need two guys to hold it in place while we nail gun it to the wall. It'll take about 10 minutes. I'll throw in another 20 bucks. I'm in. There you go. Now, Oliver, you've been great. You don't have to pay us. Hey, shut your pie hole. I could use the dinero. <laughs> Tonight I can afford it. You can afford it. Let's go. Let's go. Shut up. Shut up. Stop trying to beat me. Trace, you gotta help me with my makeup. Last time I about took out a whole eyelash. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay, let's go. Sexy. Yeah. Señorita Claire, tell Señor Oliver that we will not be performing for this job tomorrow. He's too, ¿cómo que se dice? Cheap. Cheap. So, need help again counting? Looks like Summer and PJ really went for it. Yep, took the plunge. <laughs> They're dead. What? Dead. Any relationship that is purely physical is death. They're just gonna be a statistic. Well, I hear today that two out of three divorces end in marriage. Not that death is bad. Death of a relationship, of the spirit, death of the body. 
I saw a dead body once. Have you ever seen a real dead body, Daryl? Well, I saw my granddad's ashes. It was kind of dusty. I was 11. I was riding my bike down Old Camp Road. I saw up ahead this dust cloud. As I came closer, I saw that a, a truck had run off the road, slammed into a tree. It was okay, kind of cool. But further away in the grass is what was really great. There was a boy about my age, blonde like me. He was lying in the grass. Not moving, not breathing. He must have been sitting in the bed of the truck. Who knows how high or how hard he hit. But now he was on his back. Eyes open, looking at the sky. Still, at peace. Sorry. Why? It was beautiful. I was there. No one was around. I reached out, touched his face, touched his lips. Then a car came down the road, stopped out. It ruined our moment. the closest I've ever come to really knowing a boy. <laughs> Claire, uh, we, have a, we have a question. Oh my god, there's this, there's this fat Halloween party that we want to go to. We want to go. Like, and like we. Look, we just want to leave in our costumes. So we'll see you there, OK? You just okay. invite her? Huh? Goodbye, ladies of the night. All right, well, I wish Summer and PJ the best, I guess. Daryl, you seem like a nice guy. Don't be like the rest of them. Don't force yourself on them. Don't, don't guilt and chide and force yourself on them. Pretty little blonde. Come here, pretty little blonde. Bring your red lips over here. Dead. I'm not your plaything now. I'm dead. Dead. Okay, I'm officially creeped out. Maybe you should relax. Sometimes the haze is so thick. The only way I can remind myself I'm still in this world is with the pleasure of pain. It makes me feel good when I'm in control of my pain. I like that. I've never let anyone watch me before. But I like you, dear. been working on this one. This is our secret. What was that? You better go see. Holy shit! Can oh, we yeah. not perform a simple task without this juvenile tomfuckery? I don't know what happened. It just shot back or exploded or something. I don't know. Hey, hey, hey man, hey, put the motherfucker, Jake, put the motherfucking nail gun down, dog. Put it down. 
Spider, I'm going to need his shirt. Oh, yeah. Daryl, unplug the compressor before it blows up again. Ah, damn! Oh, for fuck's sake! And don't you touch that nail. We're going to let the doctors remove it. Come on, let's yeah. get him out of here. Oh, do I still get my 20 bucks? Yeah. I'd rather pay that than for the tetanus shots you're going to need. Oh, shit, mother. <laughs> How are you, assholes? Takes the cash when she leaves, man. I know that. I was just checking. You guys suck. Let's tag this shithole. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just sucks my blood. Oh, no, no, no. Check this out. Check this out. What you got? Look, look at this. Oh. Ooh. Hey, how about this, man? Paying for this. <laughs> what an ass. He's so tacky, man. Let's just go back this way. Holy shit! Look at this toilet over here! It's so lifelike! Lifelike? Whichever asshole threw me in here is gonna get. Oh! Come on, bro. This is not. Who's that? Shit up to now. Where the hell are we? Where's that prick at? Hey, we gotta get out of here. This is bullshit. Just go check down that way. Fuck it, I'm gone. And I've got the car keys. I don't give a rat's ass about you piss heads. Douchebag. Sorry, Mom. I'm injured. Yes. Can I uh, help you? Yes, ma'am. I'm Daryl Myers from the Scare Zone attraction. Is Bart home? Well, hello, Daryl Myers. Yes, Bart is home. You know, my poor boy. He's just... Excuse me. Oh. Um, thank you for uh, cleaning my pipes. Well, let me see what you have there. Oh, how sweet. Well, let me just take these from you and get them in some water. Can I get you anything to drink? 
Oh, Bart, you have company. I thought I was supposed to hang out with Dad next weekend. No, dear, it's your little friend from the scary house. He came to see how you're doing. I'm in too much pain. Tell him to go away. Hello, Bart. <laughs> nice setup, you big bullshit artist. Close the door. <laughs> nice sheets. Close the door. Oh, man, don't screw this up for me, man. It's the first time in five years my mom sucked up to me. It looked like your mom was sucking up to the plumber. Oh, funny fag. Yeah, check out this setup. This is sweet. Yeah, if you're seven. I'm taking this for as long a ride as I can. Oh, I love this part. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry, Bart. You and your mangina need to get out of bed and help me with today's marketing blitz. Marketing blitz? What are you, an ad agency executive? I need this money, and Oliver needs everyone in tonight. Excuse me? Fatally injured? Fatal means dead, genius, and you're lifting your arm just fine. Come on. It's one more night. I get it. You need me. You can't go on without me. I am scare zone. But I can't hand out flyers. Injured. Fine. We're not actually handing out flyers this time. Tonight's the last night. Scare Zone, come check it out. You'll love it. Yeah, happy awesome. Halloween. -y. Thanks. Dude, they're so hot. They were hot. I'm gonna go meet them. No, 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 dude. Come on. Course. We gotta go. Come on. Oliver? Back door is open, man. My bad. What you doing here? Oliver told me to come help you set up. Oh, he tell you, but he don't tell me. Ain't this about a bitch? Look, I'm glad you're here. I need your help. I got an appointment downtown. <laughs> appointment, right? <laughs> yes, an appointment. I got to meet my parole officer. Is that okay with you? Can you focus? Focus. Look, the first thing I need you to do is take this and put it back where I found it. Okay. Now, I got to set up this damn dummy because those Spanish assholes didn't show up. So you go finish filling up the fog machine. Then go turn on the sound system, but turn it to the knot with a little piece of tape on it. Then go turn on the strobe lights. Oh, and then I fill the bat baby up with water. And if you're looking for something else to do, you can finish this list. Do everything on it. And then after you're done, wait for Oliver and Claire, because uh, uh, I ain't giving you my keys. OK? You got that? Got it. Now, Oliver's going to be pissy, because I'm not here. But don't let him take it out on you, OK? 10-4. OK. Yeah, 10-4, Wonder Bridge. Just go turn on the live at. Go. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Can you speak? Urgency, yes, go. Spanish people don't show up. This looks both like it.
Christmas to remember, where it's Christmas 364 days a year. That's right, every day, but what, what, Christmas? So, how can I help you? I'm looking for Claire. I'm her brother. Brother, huh? Funny, I don't see the family resemblance. Of course, I guess you don't put on the black lipstick and the funny makeup until after midnight, huh? Sandy, have you seen Miss Claire? Hang on, honey, I'll be right down. So, what's Claire's brother's name? Me? Oh, Daryl. Oh, really? What a coinky dink. I have an elf around here named Daryl someplace. I didn't know Claire had a brother. She never mentioned a brother, but she's not a big talker. <laughs> You'll find her right back there by gift wrap. Thank you. Hey, Claire. Oh, hey. What are you doing here? You told me to come here. Oh, you have a note from Mom. That is bad. Oh, I'm glad you came. Um, Sandy, Sandy, you know, it looks like our mom is really sick and I'm gonna have to leave early to um, care for her. You said your mother's dead, dear. Oh, oh, no, our, our ma'am is sick. That's what we call our grandmother. Yeah, ma'am. I'm really sorry, Mrs. Kane. I, I really have to leave right now, you know, to get to Mom. I understand, dear. So, I'll see you tomorrow morning at 10. It's a big day. Okay, I, I wouldn't miss it. Ma'am. The holiday shopping season starts the day after Halloween now, you know. Toodles! Woohoo! Oh, get me out of here! <laughs> you think vampires and zombies are scary? Those people are scary. I thought you worked at a funeral home. Who told you that? N nobody. No, I've worked for the Canes for like four years, and they still creep me out. I don't know, they seem like really nice people. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for getting me out of there. I'm running out of excuses to cut out early. You confused them good. <laughs> hey, I'm just glad you called. Is your car in the shop? I don't drive. Well, how do you get around? I usually walk. This place is like 20 blocks from the strip mall. Or I'll bum a ride or hitchhike. Isn't that a little dangerous? No. Oh, shit, put that away. Can't you carry like a can of mace or a taser or something? Mace doesn't stop them, it just blinds them. Tasers, you gotta keep charged. It's not practical. Good point. Oliver keeps the taser charged and ready to go underneath the cash register at the gift shop, but. I'll stick with sexy Sadie, thank you. She's named her gun. <laughs> oh, turn here, turn here. Stop here. <laughs> How did I know this was gonna end at a cemetery? Claire? This isn't funny. 
I knew it was you. I just want to see what you look like laughing. Don't get used to it. Let me show you something. Daryl, I'd like you to meet someone. Mary Elizabeth Landers. Hey, hey, what? What are you doing? Do you know those kids over there? Are you listening to me? Your mother? No. Not your mother? No. My mother is quite alive. Hello, asswipe. I'm talking to you. She's my aunt, my mother's sister. Nothing exotic killed her, just cancer. But I wanted you to meet her. You remind me a lot of her. <laughs> hey, Aunt Mare. I'd like you to meet Daryl. <laughs> Hello, Miss Landers. How are you? She can't talk to you, Daryl. She's dead. I know. You know, she was the only person that ever brought me a Christmas present. Every year, she would bring me something and wrap it so beautifully. She pretty much raised me till I was 10. My Aunt Mayor kept me from harm. And then she died. One year. She got me this snow globe. It was one of those real glass ones. Not like the plastic ones you see at the mall. It had this whole little village in it. That became a great tool for my mom. She could just raise it up and threaten to smash it. She finally made good on that threat. Daryl, I really appreciate you trying to strike up a conversation with me two nights ago. Hey, um, I'm sorry you lost somebody that you cared so much about. It seemed like things went all downhill after that. You seem to be fighting a lot of demons. I was just a cute little blonde no one could keep their hands off. And as a friend, albeit a new friend, I want to say something. Go ahead. Be goth, carry guns, and hum strange tunes. But you shouldn't be hurting yourself. You deserve better than that. Get a tattoo and let the professional hurt you. <laughs> that could probably take some therapy. Think about it. Now. Ready to go hack, maim, bludgeon, and slaughter ourselves to the delight of thousands? Yippee. <laughs> Bye, Aunt Mare. Happy Halloween. So I suppose you like how the Grinch stole Christmas? Love it. And your favorite movie of all time, The Nightmare Before Christmas? Now you're getting me hot. <laughs> Get down!
Oh, where the hell is Spider? Oh, how many times are you going to say that? Well, where the hell is Spider? He told me that he was coming back. Did he say when? Sorry, sorry, Jack. I know it's not your fault. Thanks for getting the place open. OK, I will work Spider's line and take the cash. Oh, good. Here's your cash. Thank you. Wait, Daryl, come here. If I'm going to cover for Spider, you have to cover for me. I am entrusting you with the chainsaw finale. Well, why me? Claire recommended you. OK. I'm there. Tell me what to do. Nothing to it. Here's the throttle. This is the chain lock. Now keep that lock on. Without that lock on, you could level a fucking forest. So for tonight, lock on, OK? Now try and rev her up. Jam it there between your knees. Pull that cord as hard as you can. Straight up. Okay. Put a bit of mustard on it. <laughs> and off. Good. You have earned the orange mask. But don't get cocky. I don't want you trying to bury that thing into somebody's stomach. Just chase them around with it. Good. OK. Everyone, take your positions. Where's Spider? You too cheap to pay him? How do you know he's not in there somewhere, huh? Waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let the slaughter begin! Okay, save me a table. I'll be there at two. Huh? Gotta pinch a loaf. What? Yeah, I gotta drop the kids off at the pool. Hurry up! <laughs> there you are! <laughs> 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 Coming from the wall is new. Everything okay? Great, I just have to go bad. Oh, there's someone in there. Oh, me next! Hey, I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Man, I gotta do this fast and get back at it. Uh, no time for airing out! Heads up! <laughs> Found that back in three hours. Call the cops! Slice and dice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Try staring somebody next Dude. time. <laughs> this is better know it's stain. I think it's just like invisible ink. I think it'll just disappear after a few minutes. Oh, I don't think so. Look at this. Maybe it's cherry juice or something. Oh god. It tastes like blood. Back off! Uh, our bitch been falling the whole way. Oh, Get a life! What's going on? I don't know. There's something wrong with Tracy. Is she hurt or sick? I don't know. I can't tell with this damn costume. Oh, Jesus. She's been stabbed. Oh, I think I'm gonna die. Excellent! Let's go! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, just a slight technical snafu, and we'll be right back. Oh, I will be right back. Oh, Shit! Close <laughs> chunks, dude. Ha! sexy, what is that gonna miss? The only thing I can think is we have this chair that shoots blades through a dummy's chest. No, I, I know, no, I know it's Halloween and you've been getting a lot of crank calls, but I'm telling you this is real. Just hurry, just hurry. Okay, I'm calling this a night. I'm gonna go. It's a big fight outside. Son of a bitch! I'll go break it up and wait for the paramedics. I'm okay, I got pressure on the wound. Okay, Claire, you've got to get everybody out of that maze. <laughs> going on? Please move to the exits. Thank you. <gasps> this place sucks. I want my money back. Please move to the exit. Oliver will refund your admission outside, asshole. Thank you. Yes. The exit is that way. Oh, man, this place is so much more effective with music and lights. Hey, Claire! Oh, sorry about this. Look, you'll get your money back. Please just move to the... <gasps> I said we closed! I don't think you understand. We came all the way across town and stood in line for two goddamn hours! Yeah. 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 I told you, we had an accident. No. We're waiting for the ambulance. Oh, I don't have time for this. Where's Claire? I don't know. I'll be right back. Uh, I I'm going to wait for the ambulance. Two fucking hours! Over. Claire? Oh my god. Claire. Claire! Claire. Sweet. Sweet. Claire. Oh. Have you seen Claire? No, is the ambulance here? I don't think so. Bart and Margot are outside. I'm gonna call the police. Where's Sparks Malloy? What? My fucking taser! <laughs> don't get up! Lie like in death. Lie. <laughs> That's you, Claire. That's my Claire. I did it for you. I, I did this all for you. Yes! Claire! You, you wanted this! This! And I've come for you! I know all about you. I know, I know how you love death. I know how it, it thrills you like it, it thrills me. It took me three years of watching you and practicing. But you, you, you taught me how to cut. Oh, we'd watch you in those long, quiet.
quiet afternoons when you didn't think anyone was looking. You didn't see us. We saw you. We'd lean up to the glass between the branches and the boxes. And we'd watch you through the Christmas window. Yes, right away, please. Well, I think we have a dangerous situation here. Yes, I think so. Look, one was wounded and another was killed. What's going on, Oliver? Just get the cops here. I don't know what's going on. Don't go in there. Jake's dead. What? Where's Claire? I don't know. I sent her in to get everybody out. The I don't know. Okay. Daryl, don't do it. They're here for Tracy. The police are on the way. Let them do it. Claire is in there. Something else is in there, and it killed Jake. You're a kid in a costume. What are you going to do? I'm going after Claire. You know what's funny, Claire? You cut to feel alive. I cut to kill. <laughs> I used to try to cut to feel alive. I, I, I would cut, and I would cut. I would cut, and I, 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 would, I would cut, but it never felt good till I met you. And I watched how you did yourself so lovingly. You inspired me so. And I grew to love you so much. I, I had to have you be a part of me to show my devotion. My devotion, my devotion. The pleasure of pain, right? The pleasure of pain, the pleasure. I did this for you, Claire! <laughs> Don't be like the rest of them, a squealing pig! Claire, don't be scared. I'm here to fulfill your wish. I'm gonna take you away from here. And the best part, the best part, I'm coming with you. Now that I've proven my worthiness to you, I need to do for you what you could not do for yourself. Now, my darling, time for me to drain you dry. And then open my veins. You're not a part of this! And then we will live together in the eternal origin of hell! I'll be right back.
<laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Stupid! You ruined everything! You ruined the moment! Be sure to tell Claire all of this! I'm sorry! Was it just him? <laughs> the thing was living back there. He killed, he killed Spider. He killed all of them because of me. It's okay. It's okay. The police are here. They're gonna sort everything. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm looking for... Hey, Daryl. <laughs> hey, how are you? Good. Good. You look great. Still working on those demons. Sorry, I had to come back to work so soon. Oh, me too. Therapy's expensive for a girl. Selfishly, I'm glad you're back. <sighs> God, Daryl, where were you 10 years ago? You know, my psychoanalysis revealed that I have a clinical 3M issue when it comes to relationships. Apparently, I deeply believe that all I can attract are maniacs, molesters, and monsters. <laughs> but hiding and disguising myself didn't seem to help. And it's just gonna take a while before I can shake the feeling that I bring out the worst in men. I understand. Take your time. When you're ready, give me a call. Merry Christmas, Claire. Started out like all the rest, a simple ego stroke game called curiosity. Then you fucked up and let it in and left a pure thing broken and disappointed me. Okay, I guess. Yeah, I'll admit, I take forever choosing, so maybe I could make you make the choice for me. Now what is it about her that drives you so goddamn bad? Step back and take a good look around you. I know you would prefer if I said she was the best I
Get lost. Except you in the back, the hot one. Come here. A little bit closer. That's right. Mm -hmm.